A couple of months ago, I shared with you top four programming languages that you might want to learn in 2019. And in this video, I want to tell you about five programming languages that will for sure guarantee you a job as a programmer. I will start from the bottom of the list and slowly but steadily we will climb to number one. But before we get started, I have something really exciting to share with you guys. I have been working on a webinar on how to get internships at top tech companies. And this is something that I personally have a lot of experience with. I've interned at Yelp twice, I've interned at Airbnb, I've had offers from companies such as LinkedIn and Microsoft and a lot of others. And you know, as they say, I've been there, I've done that. I will share a lot of my personal experience, tips and tricks, going and from how to get those interviews to begin with, how to do reach outs to people and companies, how to craft a great narrative about your own story and skills, how to craft a good resume, and how to prepare and kill those interviews, going from behavioral rounds to technical rounds. You definitely should sign up. There is gonna be a ton of super invaluable information that will definitely help you to get internships at top tech companies, whether it'll be in Silicon Valley or somewhere else in the world. To check it out, go to lifeofluba.com slash internship. I will leave the link below in the description and I hope to see you there. It's going to be amazing. There is going to be a ton of information that I personally have incurred over the years. So please sign up, lifeofluba.com slash internship. Number five is Swift. Since the development and launch of the App Store in 2008, there were created over 1.5 million jobs as iOS developers just in the US. iOS development is still super, super in demand. Everyone wants to go mobile, everyone wants to build native mobile apps, and Swift has been introduced by Apple in 2014. It's funny because I actually watched WWDC, Apple's big conference, developer conference, where Swift was announced, and at the time I actually was learning Objective-C because I was taking an iOS development course. And it was so funny because my team that I was working with and I completely did not expect that to come, this new programming language, so we literally threw away our Objective-C books as a joke. And it actually is the reality. Swift already trumped Objective-C by its popularity, by its demand, and median salary for a Swift for an iOS developer in the States is $85,000, which is pretty, pretty good. Swift also has amazing documentation. Apple developed Swift with education in mind and with ease of use in mind, so it's not a very hard language to learn. Um, it's fairly straightforward, similar in patterns to other popular programming languages, unlike Objective-C. So I would totally, totally recommend you guys to check out Swift. Number four, C++. C++ is a fairly old established language that is based based on good old C. C++ is extremely powerful and fast, and it is used for programming systems, as well as programming mobile apps, even desktop apps, game engines. It's extremely, extremely versatile. And unlike C, it's an object-oriented programming language. C++ is used in a lot of different companies. Facebook has built some high-efficiency applications in C++, Amazon, Google Chrome, Adobe. C++ has a ton of applications, and a median salary in the US for a C++ developer is $95,000. So if you want to learn C++, you definitely won't go wrong. Number three is Python. Python is an incredible programming language with a myriad of applications. Backend, ML, data analytics, AI, data science, really you name it. And Python is heavily, heavily used in automation. And pretty much any big tech company is using Python these days. Airbnb uses Python, Google uses Python, Amazon uses Python. Python has been on the rise since its creation. Python developers make around $100,000 in the US. And Python, I always say that it's an incredible language for beginners, people who are just learning how to code. Python is so readable, so easy to use, so easy to understand, so definitely, definitely Python is on the list. Number two 
is JavaScript. I know, I know, a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with JavaScript, but trust me, it has come an incredible, incredible way since its development. It constantly gets updated, new frameworks pop up, and JavaScript is incredibly versatile. It can be used for front-end with frameworks such as Angular, React, for back-end, Node.js, you can even build mobile apps with React Native or back in the day it was PhoneGap, so your mobile application can actually run on both iOS and Android with JavaScript. And JavaScript is, believe it or not, used by 80% of developers and 95% of browsers and website dynamic logic is actually written in JavaScript, which is absolutely incredible. So it's super in demand, lots of jobs with JavaScript. A median salary of a JavaScript developer is around $80,000, so it's also really great. So you guys, if you wanna learn JavaScript, this is definitely the right time to do it. And just a reminder again that I'm launching my webinar, how to get internships at top tech companies, and you can sign up for it at lifeofluba.com slash internship. A ton of invaluable valuable information that will definitely help you get that internship at a top tech company. So check it out. Finally, our number one, Java. Yeah, I know, right? You must be thinking that I'm crazy. Java, like so outdated, so verbose, so, I don't know, like old fashioned, I guess. But in reality, across the world, Java is actually extremely, extremely popular, and there is a ton of jobs that look for Java developers. According to Oracle, 3 billion mobile phones run Java, along with 125 million TVs and 89% of computers, home computers, also use Java, which is actually mind-blowing. Java is still extremely, extremely popular and is there to stay. Java is an object-oriented programming language. It's fair old, it's very established, it's still being updated and developed, it has amazing documentation. A lot of universities still use Java as the first programming language to teach students how to code. I actually started one of my courses with Java also, along with C at the time, and it was definitely useful. I liked Java for a long, long time until I started developing in less verbose languages where it, it didn't take 20 lines to write something that actually needed three lines and something like Python and Ruby. But at the same time, a Java developer still earns a median of $85,000 in the US. And as I said, all across the world, Java is still very prevalent and if you decide to go with Java or if you're already a Java developer, you're definitely gonna be in demand for a long time. Java is also extremely versatile, used in a lot of server-side systems as well as in mobile applications. Android, in a lot of places, a lot of companies still write their mobile apps in Java, even though Kotlin started slowly but steadily creeping in. But Java is, again, extremely versatile and popular, and if you are already a Java developer or you're about to learn Java, you will be in demand for a really long time. I know that was a bit of a surprise number one is Java the good old Java but I think that all across the world it's still a great language to learn to get a job as a programmer that was it guys I hope you enjoyed this video about five programming languages to get a job as a developer I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day have a great week and bye for now